Welcome to the video. In this video I'm sharing the latest judges scores and tasting notes on my recent beers that have made it into YouTube Brew Day videos. There are actually five beers in total that are being judged in this video but two of these could not make it into the photograph in the intro because they made it into kegs instead of bottles. Okay so let's get started then. So first up, here is my breakfast stout that was brewed some months back, but has only just recently been kegged. This is a style of beer that I particularly enjoy, and this recipe of mine has had a lot of work to bring it to where it is now. As you can see, the judges also really appreciated this one, giving it a whopping 92 points out of 100 on average. This was certainly a proud result for sure. Tasting notes from the judges were as follows. Sweet aroma. Malty start to a multiple flavour finish. Complex. Very smooth. Medium sweet. Next up we have the Viking Ale. This was a project of mine to combine the parts of Scandinavian styles that people actually enjoy into an interesting ale. This is really a nice summer beer but it can also be enjoyed as a refreshment year round. There are no harsh flavours to be found here. The judges all certainly enjoyed it and this is certainly reflected in the averaged out score of 87 out of 100. Tasting notes are as follows. Refreshing. Fresh with interesting flavour notes. Juniper, fruity and little smoky taste. Well balanced. On the dry side till f the finish which is fairly sweet. This then leads us to the hazelnut cappuccino brown ale. The use of hazelnut and cappuccino essences really brought this brown ale to life and this was totally the point with this beer. Give the beer some extra dimensions. One of the judges this evening was actually not even a coffee drinker but still enjoyed the extra dimensions of flavour. This beer was well received by all and got a total averaged out score of 86 out of 100. Respectable. Tasting notes are as follows. Nutty coffee taste with malt still coming through. A good combination of flavours. Smooth, medium bodied brown. And now on to the highest scoring star of the tasting session which was my Fast New England IPA. This one is called Fast because it had a short mash and boil. Only bittering hops were added during the boil and the rest of the hops were added via hop tea and dry hop additions. The short time that it takes to brew this beer does not damage it at all and in fact it's risen above full length brews within that same tasting session and that's really nice to see. By adding the flavour and aroma hops to the cold side instead of the boil really give this beer a full spectrum of taste that certainly seems to be much longer lasting also in terms of its freshness. This beer scored the best marks on the evening with a very pleasing score of 93 out of 100. This was actually a surprise to me as I felt that nothing would top the breakfast stout that night but how wrong was I? Tasting notes are as follows. A great classic Nipa. Very easy drinking, highly enjoyable flavour and texture. A great combination of hop flavours that make this a very Moorish beer. Perfect bitterness for style. Lastly, but certainly by no means least, we have another IPA, my Red X IPA. The use of Sriracha Ace in this brew was actually off-putting for some. This is a hop that you either really like or you just don't like at all. The flavours and smell from Sriracha Ace are really a question of taste. Because this is a red IPA, there are also some malt flavours involved within this profile, which certainly helps this one work out in the end for many, despite the Sriracha Ace part of it. This beer achieved a very respectable score of 86 out of 100, but with varied scores from the judges. Tasting notes are as follows. True to style. Interesting hop pairings. 
Nice colour in the glass that is beautiful behind line. Well balanced, smooth, slight twang in the aftertaste. So this wraps up this tasting video. I look forward to sharing the next one with you as time goes on again. I hope you enjoyed it and found this useful and interesting. So if you did like this video, then please do like it on YouTube. This really helps me out and allows the videos to be seen by a wider audience on YouTube. I have always got a lot of new videos planned for the future, so if you are interested in seeing my new content, then please subscribe for future content. If you have any questions on anything that I have covered in this video, or any other video, then please do not hesitate to get in touch with me via YouTube or Facebook. I am a member of pretty much every Grainfather Facebook group and more. Happy Brewing!